Why did you both want to take part in 71 Degrees North? Um, I got the initial email through about the show and I was really excited when I read it and uh, went in for the meeting and had a really good meeting and heard all about it and was really excited and then I got the call from my agent to say oh, they'd really love you to do it and I was like oh okay great and this huge fear just came over me it, it had gone from great excitement and what a great adventure and when it was kind of hypothetical to then to then absolutely petrified, just sleepless nights. And I don't really get like that about things, so it was a little bit weird, but I think everyone probably felt. I think, yeah, everybody felt very nervous because they sent you for all the hospital tests, your heart, you had to go on machines, and psychological <laughs> tests, which were the really scary ones. Uh, just that fear of the unknown, they wouldn't tell us anything. And I was, I didn't know how scared to be. I was scared with about a month ago, and then with a week to go, you know, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> you could die. <laughs> what was the toughest part about the show? I think spending a few nights out in a row, um, your kit, when it got wet and you had no fresh socks and, 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 and you'd run out of underwear and, and you, just, you just generally felt uncomfortable because you'd been outside for so long, you hadn't had a moment in the, a moment in the warm day or night. And um, I think just after a while, it, every day there's something you've got to be up at this time, you've got to be here, you don't know what the challenge is, then you've got to, got, got to get to terms of the challenge, adjust to your new team. The immunity challenges were even harder because teamwork's fun. You can encourage each other and it was really good to work with people and get to know people and, and, and you were never on your own. And then the immunity challenges almost felt lonely because you, you were working sort of against everyone else rather than, yeah, and... And they were hard as well because cause some of the boys were particularly strong, weren't they? Yes, uh, some of them were. The, the thing that I found the worst was the ever-present danger. And when you saw people, I know, you know, in the, in the first show, Michelle goes through the hypothermia thing. I remember seeing Andrew Wooded. Uh, and I was really scared because you just you have to keep watching everybody and this was after a long day a huge challenge and he'd put so much work into it and he was just going and he was just when, when people don't care anymore and whatever uh, and you just notice God, that something not quite right there In the first episode we see you doing an ice swim how did you motivate yourself? Uh, we had to do an ice swim in the first episode um, I think the water was three degrees maybe which is the same sort of temperature as water in your fridge maybe four degrees which sounds a lot warmer than it is and you get into the water and your breath literally leaves you the the cold hits your chest and you just can't quite recapture your breathing you can't slow it down and and and, and that was pretty intimidating because we watched each other and you saw people panicking or doing quite well or coming out and looking really awful and, and, and trying to I just tried to, to not um, think too much before and I just supported everybody else and when it was my turn I just went in, got changed, came out and just tr tried to get on with it but, but that first immunity challenge was definitely the most intimidating because it's the first time you're doing anything on your own and, and you just don't know if you're going to be absolutely hopeless because obviously nobody in their right minds is going to do that for fun apart from Damn it, he swims in the Irish Sea. <laughs> I do, and that was one I was looking, really looking forward to. And, you know, halfway through, I just found the boat that was beside us really annoying. So I just really thought, distracting. You know, I said, fuck this. <laughs> I didn't really even try, which was a shame. Do you think the experience changed you at all? I think maybe the experience made me realise I could cope with things that I would have just assumed. If I'd seen one of my friends going to do it, every single one of my friends has gone, oh, I could never have done that. And I would have said the same had they gone to do it. And I think I maybe realised I can do more than I thought I could. Even if I wasn't great at certain things, if you try them and you get through them, especially with no instruction. We weren't given any instruction before any one of the challenges or tasks. We were given like a booklet that we could maybe look through or we were given a nice pick and told to climb this or jump off there and, and trust this and pull. But, but there was no real example so I think um, I think I, I think I kind of learned that maybe I can I can do a little bit more than 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 I would have thought before I went yeah it's changed me it told me to get healthy because I look at myself with my uh, blubbery face over there and uh, I decided god I'm getting all too fast uh, on this uh, so I decided to start training immediately I got home and eating properly and uh, that's been you a big change for really me well. Yeah, I gave up a lot of rubbish after that you are uh, really well. because I wanted to be able to play with the young kids. <laughs>